So, hey everyone, my name is Adi and uh, I am working as a Java full stack trainer at Veracity Software Private Limited Pune. Today, we are going to take another mock interview with Adesh. Okay, and this mock interview is based on core Java. We will get some core Java concepts, like uh, you will get the in depth knowledge of about every concept. Okay, so please continue this video till end. Another important thing I want to talk to you that is, if you also want to give the mock interview with us, please check the description and just call with us okay yeah so first of all uh, hello adesh how are you good morning good afternoon sir. good afternoon okay fine can you tell me something about yourself to me as well as our audience my name is adesh power i am okay. from sasword pune mm -hmm. i have completed my bcs degree from pvg college pune okay applied with pune university mm -hmm. after that i was pursuing full stack java developer course from Paris City Private Limited. Okay. And in, in this course, I was learn core about core Java. Mm -hmm. Oops. In the Oops, we are learn about encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, okay. and abstraction. And we learn about exception handling and click collections. Okay. That means uh, till now you have completed your core Java only. Yes. Yes. Okay. Which no problem. I will ask some basic questions on core Java. Also. Okay. Yeah. So first question I want to ask to you that is. Like what is the difference in between instance variable and local variable? Okay, so instance variable is created in the uh, in outside of method and mm -hmm. constructor. Okay, the local variable is created in the only method and constructor. Okay. The instance variable is we can access mm -hmm. in class. Uh, local variable we can access in constructor or method. Okay, and uh, like uh, what is the use of instance variable and uh, local variable? Local variable is Local instance variable is mainly used to store data in data types. Okay, in store the data. data. Hmm. Okay, okay. What is object? Object is a is in concept of Java that says under in class mm -hmm. that says contains state and behaviors. Okay, that store Java data and methods. Methods. Hmm. Okay. Okay. How to create object in Java? Uh, object is created using class name. Syntax is class mm -hmm. name reference variable mm -hmm. and equal to new class okay. name class mm -hmm. name right right correct correct mm -hmm. and there is any difference in between class and object yes uh, there is difference it's mm -hmm. so class is a blueprint or a template okay. that is uh, cannot exist in real things we can right. okay. example mm -hmm. the student class okay. and the object is re exist in real like mm -hmm. uh, vehicle in cars Mm -hmm. Student name Sahil, right. its object. Okay, so, okay, okay. No problem. And uh, like, what about constructor in Java? Okay. So constructor is a special method in Java okay. that is used to initialize object. The constructor not have any written type. Constructor name and class name should be same. We can call constructor using object. We if we create object, mm -hmm. constructor automatically call. Okay, and how many types of constructor in Java? There are two types of constructor, parameterized okay. and non-parameterized. Okay, parameterized and non-parameterized. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me when we can use parameterized, when we can use non-parameterized constructor? Uh, if you, we want to pass a uh, value to the constructor, then we make parameterized. Mm -hmm. And if default is not passed to the value, then okay. non-parameterized. Right, right, right. right. There is also one concept that is constructor chaining. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me something about this? No idea about this. Constructor mm -hmm. chaining, okay, no problem. And there is a concept called this keyword and super keyword. Mm -hmm. So what is the difference in between this keyword and super keyword? This key this is prepared to the current object and super is prepared to the parent of parent class. Parent class. Okay. This is used to uh, mm -hmm. access pair uh, this uh, current class uh, object uh, constructor and method. And super is used to call parent class method and constructor and we can pass uh, using variables from mm. the super okay mm. okay and uh, how to handle exception in java there are uh, many ways we can use a try catch block and throws to handle exception java exception okay. in java okay and uh, like what is compile time and runtime exception there is uh, <coughs> we can Suppose the checked is a compile time exception and mm -hmm. unchecked is a runtime exception. Mm -hmm. Compile time is a example IO exception okay. and runtime is a array out of box bound, bound array uh, out of bounds exception. exception. Okay. Okay. And uh, like uh, what is array? 
array is a similar we can use array for it store similar type of data that's uh, array size is the static we can extend if is initialize it we cannot access okay extend okay and what like disadvantage you feel in the array concept uh, we can store only similar type of data okay. and the size is static we cannot extend right size is fixed okay fixed. cannot change okay. it okay you did any project in uh, core java mm, no but we make application atm application can you explain that what exactly you did in that in the atm application we make using while loop mm. in the atm application we first you take login info from user okay and we take variable mm -hmm. username and uh, id okay we take in file user from user in the username and id okay. if the username id is match to the uh, data is stored in mm -hmm. we can access the mm -hmm. atm application after okay. the atm application have a deposit withdraw mm. and add the deposit withdraw and view balance okay. if you want to deposit we can use use deposit use we can mm -hmm. tell to the user enter a amount for a deposit mm -hmm. and after the amount get we add into the balance right. and withdraw we can minus the amount from user we get right. use balance we can show directly balance very well okay okay one suggestion i want to give to you and like all audience audience uh, who are seeing this interview whenever like you are giving the answer don't go like in the speed okay just give the answer slowly slowly okay uh -huh. that means not so much like you need to tell like okay i have created one application mm -hmm. that is atm application uh, in that like i have used the concept called while loop a nested while loop where i have created some variables and exactly like this application is for the atm application functionality where we can take the pin first of all then that pin will be checked uh, if the pin is correct then user is logged in successfully in the atm application then we can allow user to check the balance then withdraw the amount deposit the amount okay. like that go slowly yes. don't go in the speed okay uh -huh. it is very important because what exactly happened in the interview if you go in the speed hmm. interviewer will not get anything whatever yes. you are talking uh -huh. right so that's the problem mm -hmm. and it's okay uh, no problem uh -huh. uh, you are going good okay yeah okay fine so you did that you did that project any other project you did no okay only one project mm -hmm. you did yes. okay try to like create the projects uh, in core java as mm -hmm. as much as possible okay yes, yes. Uh, okay what concept you have used in this project if we use a looping and conditional loops okay looping and conditional Condition. statement mm -hmm. if, if else, okay you have used break statement yes what is the what is the use of break break is used for if the condition is statify we can use break break so mm -hmm. condition is stop condition is stop or loop will be get stop yes loop they in this block we are use block break mm -hmm. the block is stop in the loop or condition no 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 can you tell me where we can use the break mm -hmm. in loop in condition where exactly mm -hmm. or anywhere we can use loop inside loop, loop right? inside loop so it is used to stop the loop yes, yes. not condition uh -huh. if the condition is satisfied then break will execute break. right but uh -huh. it is going to stop the loop only mm -hmm. okay can i use break statement in switch case yes we can use yes can i use continue statement in the switch case continue yes we use. we can mm -hmm. i have you used that continue the switch no i think okay, break no is yeah. only break mm. you yes. use okay fine no problem next question i want to ask you like uh, there is a return keyword is also we yes. can use mm. what is the use of that return return is used in loops if we want to skip the any current object parent current value the no uh, continue uh, is used for that na uh, right to skip the return value. Huh. return i am uh, talking return is stop all the class right all the class or method method uh, yes method it will stop the execution of current method yes when yes, you are yes. using uh -huh. the return keyword it uh -huh. will stop the method execution method execution yes, yes. okay uh -huh. yes fine okay okay no problem adesh some more questions i want to ask to you 
So like in the exception handling, mm -hmm. there is a like uh, throw and throws keyword. Yes. So any difference in between throw and throws? Okay, throw is used for manual e exception. We can create for throws. Okay. And throws is a it it tail to the tail. It the exception can be mm -hmm. occur. We caller get handle it. We are declare exception. Okay, and uh, throw by using throw we can create manual exception. Yes. Can you tell me the steps how to create it? Okay, so first we are creating class of exception okay. and they extend the class using runtime exception or class exception. Okay. After that, we are creating a constructor mm -hmm. and pass the string in constructor mm -hmm. and the use of super keyword. We are passing the uh, exception we know we want to print. Okay, and like why to create manual exception, custom exception? Uh, in the example of uh, age limit or uh, example uh, student uh, student class limit for this we use we want to give any manual exception in java okay 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 no problem uh, any predefined class you know in the core java which you use no any three class name predefined class name predefined mm. like one example i will give scanner class mm. so like that you know any class which is predefined? No, no, it's ready. Okay, and will, any interface you know predefined interface? No, I, I don't know. This okay. I will prepare for. Okay, okay, no problem. It's okay. It's totally fine. See, this is just mock interview mm. where you are grooming yourself. Mm. Like what you know, what you don't know. Yes, yes, yes. Like you, you need to figure out that. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, and after that, you need to work on what you don't know mm -hmm. okay there are multiple interfaces yes. in java ah. there's a list interface set interface queue interface in the ah, collection ah, ah. Yes, yes yes then classes in the exception exception itself class yes ah. runtime exception class arithmetic exception ah. is a class yes. array index auto all these are classes yes, yes. object is also class ah. you know the object class yes yes okay uh, can you tell me some methods of the object class Third. Hmm? No, no problem. If you don't know, you can really say, I don't know. Okay, you need to prepare that. Okay, fine. No problem. My object is a super class of all the classes in Java. Yes, yes. Right. Okay. Is the object is a parent class of mm -hmm. all Right, right, right. Can you tell me like what is inheritance? Yes. Inheritance is a meaning is taking property from another class. We have parent class and child class. Child class is taking property from parent class okay and like what is the advantage you feel by using inheritance inheritance we can use for organized code and reusable make reusable code reusability right okay 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 fine what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding okay so method overloading and method overriding comes in polymorphism polymorphism means many forms in the method overloading occurs, achieve, we achieve in same class, both the method overriding achieve in two class, one mm -hmm. is parent and one is child. Okay. okay so method overloading rules are, uh, method name should be same, param mm -hmm. return type should be different or same, mm -hmm. but the parameter data type, parameter and parameter se sequence should be same. Should be same. The, in the overriding, mm -hmm. method name should be same, return type should be same and parameter should be same. We can achieve overriding. Correct, correct, correct. Very good, very good. Very good, Adesh. Okay. And uh, any difference in between abstract class and interface? Okay. So, abstract class have abstract methods mm -hmm. and also normal method. Interface right. have only abstract methods. Okay. Abstract method, abstract class is partially abstract, uh, mm -hmm. abstract and interface is fully abstraction. Right. Uh, then abstract class have a constructor interface not have a constructor this about. okay okay then you have good knowledge about the core java concept okay but uh, some suggestion i want to give to you as well because it's a mock interview you need to prepare yourself good right yes Your english communication is little bit okay it's okay mm -hmm. it's fine ah. but it is being like little bit fast fast okay yes, yes. because i uh, see now this interview is uploaded on youtube mm -hmm many more students will like view it yes yes then they like watching this interview for the answer okay they want the answers yes. so you are giving the answers yes that time 
might be some are the students not getting answers clearly yes. because you are talking in speed, speed yeah. right but it's okay mm. it's not very much speed okay mm. you just need to minimize it yes, yes okay it's totally fine don't worry about it but uh, you have knowledge yes. okay you know the answers it's very important okay so you just you need to improve what speed speed, speed limit mm. and little bit english improvement you can also yes do yourself okay yes, yes, i am yes. i am also not perfect in the english mm. okay i am also improving my english mm. okay mm. okay so i am giving just little bit suggestion improve the little bit english whenever you are talking okay some words you are skipping yes okay mm -hmm. so you need to work on that also i will improve this yes yes surely surely last question i want to ask mm. to you like what is the feedback about like you are taking the training in vera city mm. right so what do you feel exactly by taking the training and by like mentors and all so our team mentor is you okay. and you tell me concept in very details of okay. every concept in points and also solving a example of pro problems coding okay. that is help to understand concept completely and after the class mm. any question doubt is very clearly solved solved okay okay no problem okay you are like uh, talking in english it is very important okay you have confident about that okay so guys if you also like feel and if you also like looking the career in it you can just visit the visit the veracity software private limited pune and also if you want to give the mock interview with us like adesh you can any time reach with us okay you can just check the comment section or description uh, you can check where you can get the number okay uh, you can just call him and that's it okay so we are stopping today we'll meet in the another mock interview thank you